OK, there might be an argument about to happen because I, I suspect the person I'm about to speak to might say that Ashfield is better. Um, but Ashfield has received the largest grant of money. So we're talking about the biggest grant in the entire country, over £60 million. And Jason Zadrozny is the leader of Ashfield District Council. Afternoon, Jason. Afternoon. So is, does that mean that you have the most need? <laughs> That's why you're getting £60 Because actually Ashfield's I, I... struggling. Uh, well, I, I definitely think uh, Ashfield deserves it. It's been it's been left behind for a long time. But I, I mean, I must say, I think one of the biggest reasons is that our council staff here uh, did one of the best bids in the UK, and the public got behind it in such a massive way as well. That that collective force is why we did so well because uh, we we had a, a fantastic um, set of evidence about how we could transform Sutton and Kirkby for the next fifty years. Right, well, let's talk about that. So how will Sutton and Kirkby spend this money? How, how will they be different in a few years' time? Oh, so, well, there's a huge thing. So apart from the physical changes, you know, we're building a new indoor market, we're building, supporting the new planetarium, a huge new theatre in Sutton, a, a health village in Kirkby, a new... Um, the new cafes. Uh, one of the big changes is that we're changing it from just being a shopping area to leisure areas as well, so that there's a nighttime economy as well as a daytime economy. But uh, some of the other things include huge um, uh, business support as well, so that we create a new automation park, uh, so that we're creating jobs and industry going forward. Um, and we've been working with people like Discover Ashfield, West, no West Knotts College, you know, the, the health centres, so that it's a massive partnership approach so that this isn't just changing a shop front this is changing the towns fundamentally i think that's why we're so excited about it so so this comes on top doesn't it of some other money that you've had um recently so i, I don't know what the, the grand total is but it seems that you're getting millions of quid here left right and center at the minute <laughs> it starts to sound like a play money but if you if you add up uh, the towns fund the future high streets fund the health funding and the uh, leisure funding that we've got together it's it's about 150 million altogether so it, it's an enormous amount of money for me as leader of the council it's an enormous opportunity because you know we bang on all the time that give us this chance to do something now we we are given this chance and you know by gum we're not going to let it go Andy, I, I hope with all this home brew you're doing you're saving us a few drinks because we need some celebrations over here in <laughs> So I'm going to ask you the same question I asked, asked Richard McRae because um, actually you've listed a lot of buildings there, so this money will be spent on a lot of a lot of new buildings. How do you ensure they're not just buildings that don't succeed, empty buildings? They're not buildings that don't do what they're supposed to do because this is about building a community, isn't it? Not buildings. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, for example, the theatre I mentioned in Sutton, that's not ours. We're building that with, with the Sutton Academy, the school there. We're working with uh, the Astronomical Society on their bid for a planetarium. So that'll be a sub-regional thing. It's the only one uh, in Nottinghamshire. So, you know, these are things that are working with other groups and partners. The Health Village in Kirkby, that's already working with the clinical commissioning groups and all the doctors' surgeries. So this isn't just about a wacky idea we've got. This is about taking major partners um, and and building something together so that that they draw people in, uh, you know, they re-offer what they're doing now as well, so that it is something where people want to be. What about you know making sure that the, there is a better range of businesses on the high street? Is is that not part of this? Because that's that's what people want. If the businesses are there, they'll go, won't they? You know, if there's a good cafe uh, or two or three good cafes, people will go. If there's a service you will use on the high street, you will go. Yeah, absolutely. So I think, of course, so a lot of this money is for physical stuff. So, you know, changing shops. You'll see us, for example, knocking through three or four old shops in Kirkby right now to create an indoor market. But what we did in Sutton in Ashfield is we took an old indoor market, we renovated it, but then we worked really hard doing exactly what you're saying, supporting individual new businesses. So it, they came in, they created a vibrant environment, and now it's one of the hottest places to shop, to eat in, in, in Ashfield. And that's exactly what we want to do in the town centres as well, support businesses so that they can grow. And, you know, that's exactly what people want. They don't want what they can get on Amazon or eBay. They want that personal service. And that's that's the sort of thing we want to support as well. Jason Zdrozny, thank you. He's the leader of Ashfield District Council. Just talking more about this vast sum of money, £61.7 million that Ashfield is going to get. Uh, I mean, you could say it's the most successful bid uh, of any because it's got the most money of any in the entire country. I think the one that came second is, is about half what Ashfield is getting.